You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a feel that he was not expecting. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here, and lands the left there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. Continues to mix it up there to the head, mixing in some body shots. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh. Superman punch lands. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Real quick leg kick. Big kick. Hook to the head there by Lee. Continuing to go to the head. on that leg kick. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a beautiful straight right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Sauce reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Just unable to quite find that range. And there comes the separation now. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a tie -win class or something like that. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just misses with the jab. Ooh, big shot lands. 
That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. Throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice. Kick to the body by the left punch is clean, followed by a right. him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Beautiful leg kick for him. Oh, what a punch. Nice head kick. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Nice kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Back to the feet now. Liver kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch there. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook, behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big call for punch land, now we get back to range. Takedown defense holds up. Lee gets back up again. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice high kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that, Dean Witt. We'll see here shortly. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. Let's go back to you right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. He was the one Cause all the action. Oh, wow. oh, and now his opponent in a world of 
matchup. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Fifteen seconds. He gets caught with that punch. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Found the target with that left hand. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Separate. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice stupid punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Big head kick lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch land. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Gets hit with a kick. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Three minutes to go in round three. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Big punch land. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got a bad. Oh, 
Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. Able to check the high kick. Big body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Barely missed on an uppercut right here in the inside. Nice sneaky head kick. And he caught the kick. Again, back into this position. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he goes this one. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That's a big strike right there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. By TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 32 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by Bruce the Dragon.